This video is going to show you how to uninstall some of the Windows pre-installed apps that just simply won't uninstall. The uninstalls grayed out. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So Windows 10 and 11 come with some pre-installed apps, but unfortunately some laptops, some computers now have very small hard drives. And it might be the fact that you really are trying to create as much space as possible on your computer. And you find if you go into apps and features and you try and uninstall something like Cortana, it's grayed out. You can't uninstall it. There's nothing you can do. For some apps you can. If we go into, say, for instance, the calculator app, there you go. You can actually uninstall that. But there's some like Camera, Cortana. There's a couple of Xbox apps down the bottom here, which you can uninstall. And there's some that you can't. So uh, let's just have a look at those. Xbox Gamer Bar. I don't think you can uninstall that. Nope. But you can uninstall Xbox and you can uninstall Xbox Live. So this video is going to show you how you can remove these apps with the uninstall grayed out. So first of all, you're going to need to open your browser. Let's just close down this apps and features. So let's just open up Microsoft Edge. And what we need to do is we need to go into the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search the web bar in the middle, but the address bar at the top. And we need to type in there ccleaner.com forward slash and again ccleaner forward slash download forward slash portable. So just as it's shown on the screen there, all in lowercase and no spaces, ccleaner.com forward slash ccleaner forward slash download forward slash portable. If you need extra time, pause this video and jot down this address. Once you've jotted it down, you've typed it in, press enter or return on your keyboard. And if you've typed it in the correct place and you've typed it in correctly, then you should see CCleaners starting to download. Now, if you've got this we value your privacy box come up, you can just click reject all on there. If it hasn't started downloading, then you can click on start the download. But as I can see up here by that there, it's downloaded. And if I click on that and then click open file, it will then open. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to double click on CCleaner 64. There might be a very small number of systems which are not 64 bit. So if CCleaner 64 doesn't work, then try double clicking on just the CCleaner. It says here this application may depend on other compressed files in this folder. For the application to run properly, it's recommended that you first extract all files. So click on extract all. Click on extract down the bottom. Let it extract. It shouldn't take too long, hopefully only a few seconds. And once it's extracted, double click again on CCleaner 64. Now, it may look as though nothing happens for a while. And then you'll see this message here saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, make sure it says CCleaner. Make sure the Verify Publisher is Piriform Software Limited. If that matches, move your mouse over yes, left click once. Now, again, at this point, it might nothing might happen for a while. But when this comes up, just click on Tools, just down there on the left. And then click on Uninstall. As you remember... Cortana was one of the apps that wouldn't uninstall. It was grayed out. And let's just double check that. Let's just go into the start button, go into uh, apps, go into apps and features. And there we go. There's Cortana. No, uninstall is, uh, is grayed out. So let's just come out of this. OK, highlight Cortana and then click uninstall. So it says this app and it's re related info will be removed from this PC. Are you sure you want to proceed? Click on OK. Now, nothing may happen for a little while. Just be patient with it. Now, if after a few minutes still Cortana hasn't disappeared, then just go into something like, I don't know, Drive Wiper 
and then back into uninstall at the top there. And let's just see, there you go. It's disappeared from the list. And let's just go back into the apps and features. So I'm gonna click on the start button, click on settings, click on apps just there on the left, go into apps and features. And let's see if Cortana is still there. No, it's not. There you go, it's disappeared. And like I say, we can do that for other apps too. We can just go back into C Cleaner and say, for instance, the Xbox apps. Now there's quite a few here. Let's just go through these and just uninstall each of the Xbox ones. So click on the title, click on uninstall, click on OK. Let's go to the next one, Xbox Game Bar. That definitely wouldn't uninstall. So uninstall, OK. Let's go to the next Xbox game bar. Some of these weren't actually in the apps and features list. So uh, not everything is in there. So let's click on uninstall again, click on OK. Xbox identity provider, uninstall, OK. And then finally Xbox Live, uninstall, and then OK. And let's just go back, let's just come out of this. Let's go back into apps and features scroll down to the bottom and there you go everything to do with xbox has disappeared obviously if you can uninstall from here it's best to do that so if say for instance you wanted to uninstall the calculator three dots on the right hand side of it and then uninstall and then uninstall again and there you go that will delete them. But as I say, not everything will uninstall. Now, once you've done, once you've uninstalled everything, you can delete CCleaner. So to do that, let's just close down all these windows that are open and this one too. Click on any yellow folder and then click on downloads just on the left hand side there. And anything that says CC setup with some numbers after it, you can delete. So click on the icon. There might be two in uh, in your downloads folder and then press the delete key once on the keyboard and it should disappear. Click on the next one once and then press the delete key. And again, there you go, disappears. And if you want to, you can right click on the recycle bin and empty the recycle bin and then click yes to make sure that it's completely gone. If you need to do this again in the future, then you can always go and re-download CCleaner Portable from the website shown earlier on in this video. So there you go, I hope this guide helps. And if it did, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos on my YouTube channel covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.